Well, hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Anika Beverly. If you like all things fashion, beauty, and lifestyle, you are in the right place. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, thank you and welcome back. Today, I'm so excited. I will be doing an unboxing for you. This bag is so big, it is blocking my face. So this is my new spring, summer bag. I actually got for Valentine's Day, so I haven't started wearing it, which is why I need to film this unboxing so I can start wearing this purse. But yeah, I'll get into the backstory when I open her up. You can blame my mom. This is why I have a purse problem. Like when I was like four, I got to pick out my purse to go with my outfit for church that Sunday. So ever since then, yeah, you can blame her. I, one purse just doesn't do it for me. I really have a really bad purse problem. Also in high school, I had a little job. So, you know, I was purchasing, you know, my luxury and designer bags that I would say are early age. And now we just get to buy better bags as we get older. So I'm just rambling at this point. Hit that thumbs up button. That lets me know you like these type of videos. Also subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And yeah, I think that's enough of an intro. So let's get into today's unboxing. I'm so excited. This is the bag. Obviously, it's so huge. Didn't know what I wanted. Here we go. Here is the box. She is so cute. Yeah, Gucci has a new bag. So I actually absolutely love this like little starry night bag and all the good ribbon and stuff. So let's open, let's open her right up. I actually went and looked at this bag. I think it was Christmas, but I wasn't sold. Like I wasn't sure if I wanted this bag, but basically I have just been thinking about it ever since. Yeah, we end up going to look at it around Valentine's Day and then I just ended up getting it. Here is just the beautiful packaging. Put a little paper there. There we are. So that's the Gucci dust bag that she comes in. All right, so that was all that was in the box. Just the tissue paper. And I like saving my boxes. I like using them as decor. Here is the little dust bag. I forgot what I was saying. When you're trying to talk and do stuff at the same time, child. Okay, coming out. Oh, there she is. She is just divine. Look at that. So the strap's not connected yet. It has kind of this protective wrap on it. Here we go. Side of her. I'm like holding it so tough. Here we go. So here's the front. She's just perfect. I actually tried on another bag. I don't like buying the same bag that I try on. So I made them go get me a new bag. <laughs> also the bag I tried on, it had like some ripples and dents in it. They all pretty much did the like the least amount of denting. So I went ahead and got this one. So that's why it's not connected yet because this isn't the bag that I tried on. Yes, this is a Gucci mini, mini bag Ophelia. Honestly, that reminds me of like one of the characters in Hamlet. Is it Ophelia, I think, or whatever. But yeah, I want to say Ophelia even though it's Ophelia, but whatever. So here is the side. We have like our Gucci logo right there. Closer and trying to hold it straight. And then we just obviously have the... Gucci signature print, well, the monogram on the bag, and then obviously their kind of signature ditching and stuff like that. I'm really into like the 2000s trend right now. I feel like it's so much fun. I get to wear stuff that I either couldn't afford or I wasn't old enough to wear so I kind of have a second chance at doing that so what's really big right now is obviously shoulder bags that's the reason I went ahead and picked her up it has this oh a lot it's like tight in here it's a really small bag I think that's why I was hesitant to get it at first because it's just so tiny but it's a shoulder bag so comes with all this paper and stuffing inside so we're gonna go ahead and take her out and then what's in here you have your cards, cards that came in the bag. There we go. Oop, how to care for her. I feel like I always drop these. So yeah, I think they're in different languages. Maybe that's why there's two of them. Care, I, I, does anyone even read these? I don't, I don't think anyone reads these. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It has a little kind of chain thing for I'm assuming your keys, right? So here's the inside of the bag. You obviously have somewhere to put your cards, which is nice. So being that the bag is so small, you obviously can't really fit a wallet in. So it kind of has a pre-built in wallet to hold your cards. That's pretty much all you need. No one really has like cash anymore anyway. The little Gucci logo on down here, it seems. With these small bags, we're always kind of seeing what can fit in here. I'm pretty sure my phone fits in. It's big enough to fit your phone. And I have the Pro Max. I think that's the biggest one. Okay, 
so that's good news. The phone does fit in the bag. Let's see if a lip liner fits in. Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay, so that's, I feel like that's the most important thing. And I don't like overstuffing my bags, I don't like stretching them out, so I honestly just don't like to carry too much with me. Rollerball perfume, lip liner, lip glosses, maybe one or two lipsticks, foam, that's pretty much all that I carry. And then it's just nice because it does have the little card holder back there. So that's really nice. So here's like the sizing of the bag, I would say. It's kind of hard to like open and stretch out and show you. Felt lining in there or whatever it is. Or actually, I think it's like suede leather in there. I don't know. Yeah, I should know, huh? The bag costs enough. So here we go. And let's just take this off and attach her. Oh, I forgot I have to show you guys the like wearing it. I don't think I have pants on. <laughs> well, I have like house shorts on. Okay, because I'm in the house. Button, so it has one, two, three, four, five um, holes to secure it in there. So I love gold hardware on any bag. She's just so hard. It's like what, like the hobo shape bag, I think. Hobo, right? Hobo bag? I think it's a hobo bag. Tag information. Gucci logo on the zipper. There you go, you can see it. So just kind of give you like a close up. So it only has like the Gucci logo on this side. So, and there she is, just a little like close up. Here's the inside again of all that good stuff. And then it has your yeah, right, your keys. That way you can find them easily. You just kind of like grab the chain out and it's connected to the little wallet piece. So really cute, even though it's small, I feel like it's big enough to hold stuff. And also, yeah, being that it has that wallet portion in there, you don't have to try to squeeze in a wallet in there. It's finally getting hot, but it's like, I swear in LA it goes from like, it was so cold this year, it's like raining this whole season. And then out of nowhere, it's just like, 90 degrees and you're like sweating your ass off honestly i say this every year like i have spring stuff but it's like there's no spring there's no season speaking of i need to do a spring haul i don't even get to wear some of this stuff but this is my spring and summer bag so i'm gonna have to force myself to do something because she needs to come out she is so cute so let's go ahead and attach her let's do the second to last one for now i'll probably adjust it we just put her in there belt kind of loop situation Come on, come on, not on camera. There we go. Although I want there to be enough room so it is like a shoulder bag. Honestly, I don't advise putting it past um, the second one anyway because you're just gonna have less room to put it on your shoulder. So if anything, she'll be going down one, not up anymore, honestly. That was another issue why I was hesitant to get this bag because it just didn't seem like there was enough room for your arm. I just don't even remember it having like the little belt where you could adjust the strap or maybe I'm imagining that. I felt like it was just one strap and it just didn't leave room to put your arm in. I don't know, but yeah, let's go ahead. I'm sweating. Start the light is adjusting. Sun's going down. I was supposed to film this earlier, but hey, you know, life. I actually was filming a, a TikTok. <laughs> That's what I started doing. And I started watching Vanderpump Rules because of all the drama that's going on. It has nothing to do with this unboxing, but I'm, I'm just in shock. I'm in, I'm in shock. I've never watched Vanderpump Rules before. Wow. That's all I'm gonna say, wow. Wow. Um, and I have all these lights on me, so. Let's do a little shoulder bag moment. That's kind of what she looks like. You guys can see. So she's just kind of chilling. She's hanging out right there, you know? hanging out if you want to wear it like this obviously you have the option of holding it in your hand so cute i just cannot wait to wear her out i just absolutely love her yeah i guess this goes in front because right so if you're taking like a picture so they can see i don't know that's how i plan on wearing the bag i just feel like it's just the cutest little shoulder bag moment yeah just you know i feel like it's just very i'm very into trends i'm a sucker for trends it's so bad you waste so much money don't get into trends but obviously if you're watching this video you probably enjoy trends like me it's just it's just a way for them to keep us spending money okay i know better but i don't do better like i know what's going on all right i know but i still get sucked in ah now i finally get to wear her out because i finally did this unboxing because it's been a while uh, but i didn't plan on wearing it till around now anyway so let's get into pricing receipt 
They try to make your receipt look nice so you forget how much you spent. Here you go, here's like the little booklet the receipt came in and it just the inside. Let's see how much this bag was. This bag retailed for 1,050. And then the tax, my tax here in LA, came out to $99.76 tax. Yeah, 9.5%. Yeah, 10%. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, um, tax rate is 9.5%. So the total was $1,149.76 is what it came down to. But down here it says $1,149.75. Who knows? I mean, what, I saved a penny? I don't know. Um, but yeah, you always want to keep your receipts and keep everything. I keep the cards, I keep the tags, I just put them away and put them aside because you want to keep them in case you want to resell your bag. Although I haven't resold anything. There's one bag I'm thinking about selling, maybe two, but other than that, I pretty much really love all my bags. Kind of tucking the receipt back in here as I'm trying to remind you guys. So yeah, you want to hold on to your cards and receipts and tags after you take it off the bag just in case you want to resell it so this bag comes in a white trim and i actually wanted that because i felt that would have been more spring summer sure i feel like i can't say spring summer now it just sounds crazy but is that what she said i feel like that's what she said the store or the essay she basically said they're discontinuing the one with the white trim and basically once it gets stained or dirty there's nothing they can do they can't repair it this bag it's gonna be timeless it's gonna last forever obviously down here it is canvas this and fabric you have to be careful kind of the surfaces that I sit it on but other than that I feel like I should be okay but I would have been upset had I gotten the one with the white trim I mean I wash my hands but like you know if you touch your face you have makeup on and you don't pay attention then I touch this bag now the white handle or strap is looking crazy no absolutely I would have been so upset so that was really nice of her to kind of tell me that because she didn't have to she could have just sold me the one with the white trim she said they're discontinuing it and don't waste my money don't get it I'm really into kind of like browns and neutral tones I'm wearing like a neutral tone now I feel like even this I can just like I have some jeans on like this kind of goes with what I'm wearing so I'm very into kind of neutrals tans brown beiges the whole aesthetic I guess you can say although I'm starting to wear a little bit more color which I'm kind of happy about because I, I miss color I feel like we're starting to slowly gravitate back towards color a little bit which is nice because getting like it was some y'all take the neutral stuff a little too far okay I was even taking it far at one point so it's nice to kind of wear some color especially on vacation and stuff because um, although I still have my neutrals but it's like nice to kind of be implementing some color back into my wardrobe I feel like I missed it a little bit and I said I was gonna do that so I have been forcing myself to do it she's just purse cannot wait to wear her out follow me on my social medias like my Instagram also I'm, I'm trying to get on TikTok I'm trying to like post here and there so follow me on my social media platforms that's kind of where I style and show you kind of what I'm wearing and these looks I hope you enjoyed this unboxing thank you guys so much for watching i hope this was helpful if you're thinking about getting this bag leave any comments below if you have any questions i'm very satisfied and happy with my purchase i feel like i will be getting a lot of use out of this bag i cannot wait to wear so many like kind of looks planned already that i want to do but yes okay hope you enjoyed this unboxing subscribe if you're not subscribed already thumbs up this video if you enjoyed this unboxing and you want me to do more that's everything i will see you guys next time Bye. Say bye, Ophelia. Ophelia, even though I want to call her Ophelia, but bye. 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 I love her. <laughs>